Hi, I'm Lori with Quilters Headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Today, Bob and I are going to show you our new Juki DX3000 QVP machine. So if you want to pan on over, I'm going to turn this on. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is um, the basics of all Jukis, actually. Uh, we have our scissors cut, needle up, needle down. Let's turn this on. There we go. We got a... Can you see the whole thing? Yep. Okay, so um, I just hit the OK button, the check mark button. So our scissors cut, our needle up, down. One moment. Lower presser foot, scissors cut. Needle up, down. Down, up. Our speed control, either the tor tortoise or the hare. I think that's pretty clever. <laughs> 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 and our lock stitch, reverse, and it's ready to go when this light is green. All right. And then over here on our panel on top, you have all the different stitches that are available with this machine. And so you have them all at a, at a glance. You can also come over here to the screen and look at all of your um, menu items this way. So you can go through the menu. So I just clicked this ex little expand button. Expand it, you can see there's two pages. So you can see all the different ones here and they're all on top as well, okay? Uh, let's see, have I missed anything on the front? Not yet. I'm going to be going through some of this stuff as we go along. So let's go ahead and let's thread the machine. So I'm going to put the thread up here on the spindle, put a cap on it, and bring the thread. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way, Bob. Am I doing all right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It works. So we're basically just following the arrows that are on top here. And the number two, the arrows. So and it's the pretty numbers. simple. Yep, there's number three, number four. It's right here. Five. Uh, six is here. And then here's our needle threader. So we're going to pull it up through this guy right here. Cut it off on the thread cutter over here. We have a button on the side here. We just push it, and it's threaded, just like so. Okay? Yeah, and the trick is, is always do it slow. Don't flick it down real fast. Right. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put the bobbin in. The nice thing about the bobbin is you have a diagram on the bobbin cover of which way the thread should come off. So as I put that in, I want it to come off this way. I'm gonna put it in the slot here. There's a little tiny slot right there I want the thread to go into. And I hold my finger on the bobbin so that it stays. And if you listen real close, you can hear it snap. All right, and then just follow the numbers again. And then pull the thread here, it cuts it off. And we'll put this in, and voila, we are threaded. Okay. Did I do good? Did good. All right. Next thing I want to show you is the foot pedal. So this is the foot pedal. Um, so the foot pedal has two parts. One is, of course, just go. And the next piece of it here is this programmable part of the foot pedal. And the programmable part, we'll show you in the menu item over here, it is under tools and foot pedal right here. And so you can program this to do one of several things. You can program it to reverse program it to half stitch. That means it's the needle's going to go up or it's going to go down depending on whether you have your needle down setting or up. So it'll just do the half stitch. Um, 
you can program it to just lift the presser foot. You can program it to lock your stitch, meaning going forwards and backwards. You can program it to do a full stitch, so the needle's going to go down and up. Or you can program it to thread, uh, to thread trim, to cut the th thread. Or you can program it to do nothing. So this is kind of nice, too. Here's another example of what's new on the DX3000 QVP versus the NX7 is that you have all these words, too, not just icons. So I don't know if you can see that real close on yep. the camera, where like it'll tell you exactly what it's doing in case you can't read icons, which sometimes it's, they're not as plain as one would think. So like the scissors, it says thread trimming. Um, the, the needle up down says one stitch sewing. So that's pretty cool that you can see that as well. So we have ours programmed right now to just lift the presser foot. Setting complete, and then we can go back to our regular sewing. The next thing we're gonna do is actually sew. So, I'm gonna put this on the floor. And one of the nice features about all of our jukies <laughs> is the nice, quiet sound. So I'm gonna put the, knee, the presser foot down and we're just gonna sew. I'm gonna set it to needle down position as well. That's how most of us sewers like to do, or quilters like to sew. Is that pretty cool or what? Sewed nice and straight. Didn't nice go to the straight. left, didn't go to the right. Yep. Beautiful stitch. Wow, yeah. Does that work? Yep, that works. Cool. Look at that. Yep. All right. Um, the auto lock stitch and thread trim. So I one of the things that I like it to do is to um, I can set set it to tie off at the beginning, the end, cut and lift the presser foot. I don't necessarily like to tie off because quilters really don't do that, but I'm going to just for sake of showing you, I'm going to turn the tie off, the back tacking on both at the beginning and the ending. I like it to scissors cut and then raise the presser foot. And then I'll click my check mark and we'll give it another sew. So lower my presser foot, see it back stitched, and I'll set my lock stitch there. Lock stitch and it cut. So I could either, um, we'll do that one more time. Lower the presser foot, back stitch. So, so if I press our lock stitch, I still have my presser, my foot down on the pedal. It's back stitching. It's going to cut and lift the presser foot. So that's kind of a handy feature right there. And like I say, quilters probably don't always use that back stitch function, but so you just would turn it off. So let's do that. We'll go back here. We'll turn off those two things, and then we're golden. Let's see. Next up. Auto lock stitch. Oh, the smart feed. So the smart feed is back here. So it's like, oh, on other machines, they call it even feed, integrated dual feed. So Juki just calls it the smart feed. And so that's this little guy back here. Bring it all the way there down. It is. There it is. All right. So when would we use this, Bob? Uh, you know, it's really designed more for um, the super thick stuff. Maybe if you're binding. Quilting a quilt, straight line quilting. Straight line quilting. Things like that. The nice thing about the Jukies is um, you really don't need the dual feed, you, I don't think. No. They sew really great without it. Yeah. 
But <laughs> like if you're sewing on binding or quilting your quilt and you're just doing straight stitch, like you would if you had a walking foot on it, I suppose, huh? Yeah. So that's when I would use that. Normally, I don't really need it uh, if I'm just sewing seams. You don't, because the juki, it doesn't slip, and, and it goes nice and straight, and you get perfect points, and yeah. so it's, it's it doesn't, just a... It doesn't slide the top fabric off of the bottom fabric. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I've never really had a need for that. Um, next up is the needle plate. All right. So the needle plate's kind of cool. Yeah, this is to basically change it into a uh, high-speed straight stitcher. Yeah. So I pull out my handy-dandy toolbox here. This is all of our accessories. I'm kind of going out of order of what I'd planned. There we go. There yep. we go. So all these feet, your bobbins. This is what I was really after. But I'm going to get this out. This is our screwdriver tool and this is going to be our straight stitch foot or feed, or feed dogs. dogs thank yep. you and then our straight stitch plate yep okay so so we're going to pop the feet the needle plate off just by popping that up oh it's easier to take the foot off <laughs> push, there we go push the button there we go take the foot off Raise the presser foot up if you need to even more. Okay. Pop the foot off, the plate off. Pull it out this way. Raise it up. All right. And then we want to also change, because we have, we're putting on a single needle plate. So it's got just one hole in it, right? Yep and a few slots for the feed dogs. Yeah. Right? So we need to match our feed dogs to the slots. And in order to do that, we're gonna put our screwdriver back here. And, and there's a little there's a little groove in back of that feed dog where that screwdriver goes. Yep. So I pulled that out. I'm Show gonna... us that groove in back of that feed dog. Uh, back of the feed dog yeah both of them have it the backpack the end <laughs> I'm sorry there. I don't know what you're talking about right here oh the, See this, the groove? Little, this little groove right here yep okay that's where the screwdriver goes okay I just feel it yeah <laughs> okay I'm gonna put this back in I'm trying to keep my hands off the camera but it, that's pretty hard to do so it just snaps right back in, just like that. And then you can put in your single needle hole plate, press it down, and you're good to go for a single needle. Now look at what our screen says. The screen prevents us from setting it on a decorative stitch or a zigzag stitch. So it says detected straight throat plate and feed dog, delete the previously select selected patterns, question mark. So it doesn't want us to break our needles. So I'm just going to click the OK button. And I'm going to put it back on just for demonstration purposes. All right. Pull it out. Put my other feed dog back in. Easy as this, right? Yep. Not a problem this guy back on. I've got two little, um, what do you call them? Things there. Things. Yeah, things. Things. Put it back on. And our machine knows that we set it back to standard. Look at that. Look at that. Put my... It's smart. It is smart. Put my foot back on. Put this back in place so I don't lose them. Because I really hate when I lose stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's see, we've gone through accessories. Um, that's it. What else do I wanted to show them? I'm missing something. Oh, I know. I wanted to show them some decorative stitches. Do you have any other things you want to talk about, Bob? Uh, let's see, we went through the buttons and everything. 
sewing and stuff, kind of just a basic thing. Yeah, to show a few decorative stitches okay. were good, I think. A few things on here. Let's say you want to do some free motion quilting and you want to lower your feed dogs. That's this button right here. So I just, if you have this set, that's lowering your feed dogs. Your yep. feed dogs are right up here. And you can't even miss it. You actually have words on this machine. So there would be lowering my feed dogs, hit my check check box. And now I'm, I could put my free motion foot on there and start free motion footing, free motion quilting. Yeah, the words are a nice feature. The okay. next seven didn't have that. Another nice thing that I like to show my customers is our decorative stitches. Let's do some lettering. So I hit my my decorative stitch and I can I have all these different functions here. They correspond to what's going on up here. So I'm just going to hit some lettering. Let's sew out this one. Now if I want to see all the letters instead of just 12 at a time, I just hit this button here. I can see everything. So we'll do L, I want lowercase now, O, R, I. And what I generally do when I'm sewing something out like this, it's not gonna, well, I guess it'll show up okay. Um, I like to unplug my, my foot pedal cord and just have it sew automatically. So I've got Lori spelled out. I'll lower my presser foot and I'm just gonna push this button right here and it'll sew without the presser foot or I mean without the, the um, foot pedal and it'll sew my name out and then it'll stop and I'll cut the thread with the presser foot and without the extra th threads that got tangled up in there but you can kind of see yeah. <laughs> I should have held my threads back. Does that show well? Yeah. All it right. Does. So that's one of the fun things that I like to do. You can do any other number of um, decorative stitches, or let's see, let's sew out something fun. For instance, we'll go to this flower icon right there. Let's do, it also does stack stitches too, which is kind of fun. Uh, you can do, so we're going to um, show you how to do stacked stitches, which is what I did here and here. So it's basically taking two stitches and uh, sewing them out separately, but they're, they're made to match. All right, so I'll show you how that's done. It's kind of fun. So first of all, I want to clear out everything that I've already got by hitting my backspace button here. And then our... In your book, your manual, it tells you which are our stack stitches. So they're right up here. They're 189 through 197. So basically, you can do a combination of any of those. Oh, I'm lying. It's 198 through 208. So those are your stack stitches. So we're going to do 198 and 199. So I'm going to click on 198 here. And we'll sew a little bit of that out. Put my thread behind. Put this down. Am I plugged in? Nope. I'm going to use my foot pedal this time. Look at me just feeling for it instead of putting my head in front of the camera. Yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right, so now we're going to do some stacked stitches. This is kind of a cool feature of this machine. Uh, to do that, I have to change my presser foot. So I'll get this guy out of there. And I'm going to put in my eye foot. Mm -hmm. And I just, some people will lower the presser foot onto it. I just push it up in there. Either way works fine. All right. So I am going to, our, our stack stitches are right here on the menu. 198 through 208. We're going to do number 198 and 199. So our stack stitches, depending on where the editing goes. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our stack stitches down here, where you do one stitch first and then you stack another stitch on top of it, like so. 
So we're going to do another one here. Hopefully they can see it on the blue thread. Yeah, it blue. seems to be coming out quite nice. Okay. So I'm going to sew a few of these. And this is, I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, number 198. And I'll hit my tie off button here so that it completes the stitch before it stops so like if you had a if you were sewing out a bunny or a flower or something it would um, it would finish the bunny before stopping that's what this button does so that was stitch number 198 so the next stitch I'm gonna do is number 199 so I'll come over here and just click on that one and I I did look at my manual and it says to line it up right here on on the inside of the foot so we'll see how that works there we go so i'm keeping it lined up right there i probably should have done longer but and i'll hit my lock stitch finish it off cuts it, lifts it, and so there it is. Maybe not the best two to put together because I think that's a little too heavy than that. I could also then bring it back this way, set my presser foot down, and so I probably want to do some test things to match point to point on both sides. I know I'm going to run out of bobbin thread one of these days too. I'm going to finish that stitch, cut it off with the presser foot. So you get the idea. Like so. There we go. But you can choose between, you know, what is it, 8, 9, 10 stitches, something like that. So that's kind of a fun feature. Um, we just barely hit the tip of the iceberg on all the features of this machine. So there's many, many more things you can do with it, more settings, uh, you know, just m more information. Hit your information button. It's got a great manual with it. I feel like I'm doing a commercial. Yeah. An awesome manual. It's actually pretty easy to understand. So, you know, if you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for joining us here at Quilters Headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we would be glad to ship one out to you and all of our machines. Are we online? Or call us at 605-334-1611. We are basically close through the coronavirus thing, but hopefully that won't last forever. And you can send us an email or um, get a hold of us online or Facebook. Thanks for joining today.